hello and uh, welcome to my channel today i will talk about uh, examining interview data in phenomenological studies before doing data analysis it is a wise decision to examine your interview data to see what is the source of knowledge and information that participant is sharing with you so let us begin with the type of participants and their source of information generally when someone will tell a story you can categorize it in three sources of information first it is my experience and it happened to me second i was there i am an insider i witness and i belong to the same context where it happened third i heard it from someone i had an indirect observation and i came to know about it extra extra now think about it which source of information will you consider more reliable and verifiable first person is the one who is an insider in two ways first through the direct experience and the other through the direct witness so the source of information in both these cases is more valid and strong and of course the experience is even more valid uh, evidence as compared to the direct witness now the third person narrative it is an outsider's narrative that is the narrative of the person who is not in the story and provides you other important information including opinions views information based on heard stories and some historical data or some indirect observation this source can be used as data but this is not the required source for a study on lived experiences anyhow you can get supplementary information that may be helpful during analysis now let us keep things more simple broadly speaking you may interview two types of participants in your study first who have a direct experience of the phenomena you were exploring and they are your key participants for example in my study on childlessness in rural punjab the women who did not have children and experienced miscarriages and other reproductive issues they were my key participants so interviewing them will provide me knowledge about how the participants go through all this and then my task is to give voice to their experience whereas there were elderly women in the village who have knowledge about childlessness and they have they were known as expert in connection with their knowledge and folk wisdom they were important source of knowledge for me because they were not only able to share their knowledge but also they had stories about others and uh, they gave their opinion so to include these other participants in my study it was valuable for me to have an in depth understanding of the phenomena let us take another example to explore the cancer survivors experience when they were going through it you may consider to seek information from three types of participants first the participants who are cancer survivors and they have recovered from it second the participants who were immediate caregivers of the patient and the third neighbors or relatives or the consultant doctor and nurses now it is obvious that the first category will be your key participants whereas second and third categories will be other participants even from second and third categories second category are the immediate caregivers who have been with the patient throughout this time of recovery and they can provide you valuable information because they are insiders and then the third category may also be a useful source of information even if it is outsider overall it is the researcher's choice 
who will decide uh, how to gain the depth of information required to investigate a phenomena. Now, let us expand this idea and see that what may be the source of knowledge and information that participants are providing. As you know, that your key participants are those who will share what do they experience and how do they experience. However, it is also possible that during the interviews, they will tell you about others' experiences or others' knowledge that they share because it somehow relates to their own experience. It means that they are trying to give meanings to their experience while providing you information that are not from their direct experience. Hence, you should carefully examine the interview data and see where the participant is, for example, likely to say, I experience, and where the participant is referring others, such as, I heard, I saw, I was told, or I was informed, etc., etc. One common mistake that young researchers commit while doing interview with key participants is that they could not form their questions and probes properly to unearth the experience of the key participants. That is why conducting interviews about lived experience is difficult and it requires proper and relevant training. For more information on uh, conducting interviews, you can watch a video on my channel uh, about interviews. Okay, now, as you see in this slide, the word experience matters a lot, whereas other words may provide you rich sportive information that you can use in thick description of the phenomena. However, in short, it is important to examine the whole interview to see how the information are being provided by the participants, then accordingly distinguish the source of information if it is voiced through direct experience or the other sources. Uh, well, to conclude this talk, I will suggest three important things that you should consider while examining data. First, examine the responses of the participants, how they respond to your questions and make notes what sources of information participant is using to provide you this information. Second, find connection between different sources of information that participant is using during the interview. For example, uh, the connection between what the participant tells as experience and what is he sharing as observation or other stories. Third, make notes of these connections uh, with reference to these first two suggestions and then these notes will be helpful for you in further analysis. I hope this short presentation uh, will help you to prepare your interview guide and to examine the data sources within the interviews. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you some other time. Thank you.